Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, everyone, we are going to be summoning for one of the two newest characters here on Destiny Child Global, of course, being Maupin and Bradamante. But we're only going to be summoning for Maupin in today's video and be summoning for Bradamante in the second video of the summoning series of course for these two new narrative dungeon units now before we do dive into the child overview and summons everyone i did want to give you all a reminder to of course make sure to like this video if you guys are enjoying the destiny child content here on the channel and of course if you guys haven't yet done so already make sure to check out my twitch channel linked in the description box below as we recently did just start streaming on twitch and it's been a ton of fun so if you guys would like to go follow me there it'd be greatly appreciated so yeah if you guys would like to follow me there and of course make sure to subscribe here if you guys haven't yet done so already and are new to the channel but without any further ado let's get started here and dive into the new unit Maupin and of course her skill set all right everyone here is the newest five star fire type defender Maupin on the screen right now we do have a beautiful looking five star fire type defender and I do love the design they did decide to go with her a ton as she does look amazing so we'll be summoning for her in today's video and save Bradamante summons for the second summoning video and we do have here the skill set of Maupin and before we do check it out there is the live 2d animation of the e-class costume looking amazing and let's see the skill set here now which is pretty good she does seem to be pretty strong for devil rumble when you do surround her with five star fire type units of course so we do have the kits here for the tap skill here ignite deal 324 damage defense plus 45 percent for two allies lowest hp for 12 seconds long as for the slide skill here we do have deal 619 damage to one enemy 90 percent chance to grant a debuff taunt receive two debuffs in place of an ally to self for 12 seconds and evasion plus 25 percent for five fire type allies for 12 seconds in pvp debuff evasion plus 15 percent for five fire type allies for 12 seconds long as for the draft skill here deal 1561 damage to two random enemies 98 percent chance to grant a debuff taunt receive two debuffs in place of an ally for 15 seconds and nullify debuffs for self for five seconds long as for the leader buff here we do have debuff evasion plus 18 percent for fire type allies in pvp debuff evasion plus 10 percent for fire type allies so overall she does seem to be a pretty good tank we are seeing her ran a ton in the devil rumble top 100 and probably for loading around a ton in platinum 5 if you do have the fire type units ready to go as she is very strong and pair with the fire type allies as based on the slide skill here we do have here the plus 25 percent evasion for five fire type allies for 12 seconds long and she does also have here the debuff evasion plus 15 percent to five fire type allies as well so a very nice unit here she does have debuff taunts which is very helpful in the devil rumble as of course tons of debuffers do float around there as well as in the endless duel next up here we do have the draft skill which is very helpful as well we do have the 98 percent chance to grant debuff taunts which is more than likely to land of course a 98 percent chance i'm not sure why they did not just make it 100 percent but of course overall a good kit and the leader buff here is decent but you will probably go with a natalis leader buff there in pvp instead but overall a good looking unit and a very strong defender if you guys do surround her with the supporting cast of fire type units make sure to let me know what you guys do think of Maupin overall she does look amazing in my opinion but i probably won't be using her as i don't have too many fire type units available for the devil rumble now overall the draft skill here does look pretty nice i do like how it does fit her outfit a ton and overall a nice looking unit here a very strong one and probably a fan favorite as tons did manage to rush her to the plus six and fully ignition so make sure to let me know your thoughts on mop down below 
But without any further ado, let's dive into her guaranteed upon summoning banner and see if we can manage to pull her. All right, everyone. So there is the guaranteed upon summoning banner on screen for Maupin. Of course, Tenacious Maupin. So let's get started here with the summons. It's been quite a while since I did post here on the channel. So I do apologize a ton. It's actually been a pretty rough week. Unfortunately, I was actually dealing with COVID. So it was pretty irritating having to go through that. But we're back now and I'm feeling quite a bit better by this point at the day of uploading of course as the past few days I was aiming to record the summons as soon as they did drop but unfortunately got hit with it and it was not pretty for about a week or so so yeah wasn't too lucky with that but we are back now and we did manage to have a few streams before I did get hit pretty hard with it and we're back here on the YouTube channel now, fortunately, with the summoning videos here. So yeah, unexpected break, but we're continuing and here we are back with the Maw Pin Summons. It was pretty irritating that we did have to take a break so recently from the Twitch streams as I had just started and they were going very well and they've been tons of fun on the Twitch channel. So if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out in the description box below. And of course, it did hurt quite a bit not being able to record for a while as I do love recording videos here for the channel. So glad to be back and feeling better a bit already and decided to go with the mop pin summons for today's video. And we do have the Brother Monte summons coming up in, in the next summoning video, as well as we do have Korea summons that we need to do as well. So tons of summons will be coming out here soon on the channel. Let's see if we do manage to pull mop pin though in today's video. We are pulling tons of four to five star units here, but unfortunately no mop pins so far. Let's see if we do manage to pull her in the remainder of this multi summon as of course we don't want to dive too deep as I won't be using her at this point in time. Maybe in the future I will use her as of course the Devil Rumble does shift a ton in meta and the fire units do seem to be very popular at this point with the introduction of the new fire type defender so maybe I will have to adjust to her but We'll just be going for the initial copy for now and holding on to her for the future if we do happen to need her in the upcoming months or so. So moving on to the next multi summon, I do believe this is the fourth one here. Let's see if we do manage to pull her here. We do have a four to five star unit and unfortunately no maw pin there. Hopefully Bradamante is more of the nicer side to me here on my main account. As for the alt accounts, we were pretty lucky on both of the units actually. We did manage to pull Bradamante in under five multi summons, I do believe, and a maw pin in the first multi summon on the zero to hero accounts which we'll be covering soon yet again of course here on the channel but yeah on the main account here not too lucky with Maupin here to start out the dual guaranteed upon summoning banners moving on to the fifth multi summon let's see if we do manage to pull her here it'd be very nice as of course we will have the hot spring realm costume to be obtained from this so let's try a skip animation and we did manage to pull mop in here now let's see if we do manage to pull multiple copies there is the five star davi animation and no multiple copies of mop pin but there she is tenacious mop pin the newest five star fire type defender as for the bio here are you kidding me you're not in a slump that's just an excuse so there she is looking beautiful make sure to let me know if you guys did enjoy the summons here and of course how did your summons go for Maupin and Bradamante on your accounts, of course. And if you guys did manage to go in for the plus six, as she does seem to be a pretty good unit for the Devil Rumble side of the game. All right, everyone, here we are with the Maupin on the screen, of course, and we'll be awakening her in today's video, as of course, I will be trying to S class every unit in their summoning videos now. So there's the S class. Let's see how it does change here in the 
awakening screen of hers there's the dialogue and there she is going to the s class costume overall looking very nice here with the s class costume looking amazing make sure to let me know what you guys do think of Mopin overall and in her s class costume all right everyone so that'll pretty much do it for today's destiny child summoning video here on the channel for five star tenacious Mopin. There she is on screen in her S-Class costume looking amazing. Make sure to let me know overall in the comment section below if you guys did manage to summon her up and if you guys did manage to get lucky on her guaranteed upon summoning banner as well. But before you go everyone, make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy today's Destiny Child Summons. And of course, if you guys haven't yet done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel here. And of course, make sure to check out the links in the description box below to the Discord server of mine, the Twitch channel, and of course to my Twitter as well to stay updated with more content of mine coming soon here to the YouTube as well as outside of the YouTube channel as well. But with all of that being said, I'll see you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.